to share with you some Ayurvedic cooking um, because Ayurvedic nutrition is as a medicine. Uh, we have so many herbs that we can use in our food that have such a beautiful help in our digestion system. And I'm going to share with you the recipe of Kichiri. Kichiri is a very nutritious one pot dish which is very easy for everybody to learn to make that as a beginning starter of uh, changing their food habits and then you can expand that kitchery uh, recipe in whatever way you want. So, um, and then the other one is an Agni booster. Agni means your fire, your digestion fire. And that fire, we want it to be high before you start eating. So that's like a little shot of Agni booster. So those two things I'm going to share in this cooking video uh, from Restore Your Life. And I want to take you into this kitchen in India in Mumbai, I am here in a typical Indian kitchen and we just got to the market, got all the herbs and everything. I'm buying all, even all the fresh herbs. We have even fresh fenugreek here in India. So that's very special. And I want to share all these beautiful vegetables and herbs and the basic of kichari. So I'm going to prepare some uh, Agni booster. We use ginger, fresh ginger. We use lemon. We use honey and we use salt. Those four will mix into an acne booster. Put out. And we'll get a little bit of lemon juice. Then I'll put in a little bit of salt. Now the salt needs to be dissolved. And when the salt is dissolved, a little bit of honey to make it sweet. So we have sweet, sour, and salt. It's taste. And we have some ginger. Um, because it's um, organic ginger, you can add this, the skin of ginger, we add it in. So that, I'm going to leave it as an acne booster that will enhance your fire, digestion fire. I'm going to start with this huge big carrot, look, <laughs> and it has a beautiful red taste. One thing is about working with vegetables and cooking is your heart and your sattvic mind should be there. So I am connecting now with the carrot and say, wow, you're so beautiful. I'm going to make some beautiful food out of you. We're going to use for this recipe only half of it. Um, and um, the cooking and the cutting part is very important to do that with your mindfulness because if I would be worrying about something that I need to do and I am putting that worry into my cutting, then the food that I'm going to cook also has that same energy. So it's very important to be in your mindfulness connected to the floor, that's the best way to earth, and to be connected with the food that you're making, because you're going to taste that also when you eat. And so the potato, I'm going to cut the potato. Sweet, nice, beautiful potato. Vegetables, that. So that way, those are ready. We have one more hard vegetable. A different variety of colors in your food, for it will give different tastes, different substances. Then we're going to cut this, the medium, medium vegetables, like broccoli or beans I've bought right now, or any zucchinis or sort of medium cooked. We look at cooking time. So the cooking time is very important. Now this part of the broccoli actually is a, lo is a longer cooking time. So this part I'm going to cut and add it into the harder vegetables because it has sort of the same cooking time. I'm going to cut it into pieces as well. Four pieces of the harder vegetables. It's always a joy to cook and to prepare food 
and you're supposed to be also quite hungry not to snack in between your food because you're supposed to have your fire to be high and your taste buds are thinking wow I'm going to eat this food so all of that preparation is very important before you eat even buy the things you are you're thinking about I'm making kitchery then your digestion system already starts then you're going to buy all the ingredients then your digestion system starts and you get everything ready you prepare all the food and then you're cooking it and then you're eating it that's all part of your whole digestion so it's all connected we have some green beans that I'm going to cut. Green beans have a beautiful medium cooking time. So the most important thing for preparation of the moon is the moon bean that needs to be soaked overnight or pre-cooked a little bit because it has a longer cooking time than rice. And since we're looking at, we have rice here and we have dal here and we have this moon dal. So this should be the same cooking time. Prepare your cooking water here. You should be having this uh, boiled water ready because when you add it in, it needs to be boiled already. So the other preparation is the, the fenugreek seeds that we have here. They're quite big and I like them personally to have them a little bit um, powdered because they're... So I put one teaspoon of this fenugreek seeds in here that I'm going to pound into a little bit piece, smaller pieces, because then they're more like in between the, the powders and the seeds. Oh, this is all the preparation we need now, so we can start cooking. Okay, so we start cooking. We have ghee here. We're going to add the ghee in the hot pot. Ghee is the most perfect medicine for you. Uh, I mean, you can use olive oil also, but ghee is the most profound um, oil you can use because it really cleans and, and um, helps your tissues to be super healthy. I always love to use love ghee. Turn it down a little bit. Here it's melting. Now, these are all the seeds that I put together. Mustard seeds, cumin seeds, ajwan and fenugreek seeds that I'm going to add first. Let's wait till it's really hot and then we'll add the common seeds in or for about one tablespoon of it, teaspoon and a little bit of ajwan because ajwan is quite strongly and then we have mustard seeds and they're gonna dance in a pot later and we have beautiful methi we call it in India or this part is where we look at the seeds that um, are going to dance in the pot and there's go too slow so there's like a medium timing in this and they will dance a little bit in the oil and all the extractions of the herbs to go into the ghee so it's really a process that needs to be done to get the best of the herb transformed into the ghee all the, the ingredients and all the medicinal uh, uses of all the herbs into the ghee is a very important process to do this before you add the rice we are so used to putting rice in water and cook it that way but in ayurveda we use all recipes most recipes are to make the targa to make the um, the ingredients go in the ghee and to have all the the herbal essence come out now at this moment everything is heating up and it's frying a little bit and look in here and when the mustard seeds start to dance and pop out of the pot i'm just gonna slimmer put the fire down a little bit so the perfect timing of the seeds that they are ready so now i'm going to add the coriander powder i mean ginger powder, cumin powder and turmeric. So I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric, cumin, cumin seed, a little bit, little bit of coriander powder and some ginger powder to have best results. Mmm, smells good. Mmm, really, 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 really nice. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, I love this one. Ah. 
part of cooking to enjoy it and to have fun. Now we have some hing. Hing is also asafoetida they call it. And it's like uh, onion and garlic in one. And you only need a little bit of this. Because <laughs> it's very strong. Instead of garlic and onion, you use this. Now, the next thing is we're going to add the rice. For we want the rice to um, absorb all these herbs. Shimmer it now. So I'm going to put the rice in here. It's going to be soaked into this beautiful herbal dish. And add in the dal. And we add in the moon beans. We add in the moon beans. See, the moon beans are going. Wow. And the moon beans are a little bit wet from taking it off the stove for a little bit. Add a little bit of water. Keep stirring. We stir fry all this. See how we pre-cook this in a whole series of beautiful herbs. And look at all the color in there. And we're gonna in this moment, add in the harder vegetables because they have the same frying time as the rice. So we'll stir fry that together. All the herbs are in there and it's just yummy. Look at this, wow. Look at these colors, colorful, colorful. Now, what I'm going to do is add a little water just leave it like this. Steer one little more time. And then we put the lid on. We put the lid on and leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. So the harder vegetables and the rice will have a cooking time ahead of the next layer of vegetables and the next layer of the thinner vegetables that will be added in last minutes. Important that in between don't stir too much. See now it's cooking pretty good. As you can see everything is shimmering. Everything is covered under water and it should be like a low shimmering. I cannot lower this one but um, as low as possible. And don't stir too much in the kitchen. In between just check how everything is going. And then we get the best results. Otherwise the rice is going to be very sticky and we want it just to be. Uh, the vegetables are doing so more or less half cooked. A little bit soft now so that's good. So I'm going to add in the medium vegetables. Medium, broccoli, cauliflower, those kind of and puccini, zucchini. I don't have beans here. So I'm also going to add some hot water because now we need a little bit more water. As you can see, there you go, and we we'll stir it lightly. So we just bring them under water. So no big stirring because the rice does not like that. So we just push it under. So it's another layer of beautiful vegetables. Yes, yes, yes. Hoppa. We have two beautiful green leaf vegetables. Ah, oh, coriander, my favorite. They have so, such a beautiful, ah, oh, I love being in warm countries. But this is a special one. I have not seen this in Europe. This is fenugreek plant and fenugreek we usually have the only the seeds of it and now I'm going to use this for the first time in a freshly cooked kitchen. I'm just roughly cutting them because I will add them last minute. So put them aside. Then I'm going to use some in the dish and some for on the dish. This same thing don't need to be cutting much of it. This is fine, beautiful, and they smell, ah, oh. oh, I love food, I love cooking, 
ah, absorbing all the energy of these beautiful vegetables. Mm, I love vegetarian cooking. Okay, in the meantime, we're checking the food. Look, and it's getting really far because now you see the rice is getting there. The vegetables are just a little bit hard still. Now, ah, the carrots is good. The potato is soft. Wow, that means we're really getting there. Now, the beans are a little bit medium. So, almost there. Almost there. And it smells so good. <laughs> this is the Agni Booster. As I prepared before the food. This is to ignite my fire in me because then I'll be getting ready to get this beautiful meal in my stomach. So to activate my stomach and my fire, I'm going to drink this. Remember, it's lemon juice, salt mixed in with honey and fresh ginger. Okay, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. An explosion, it's like an explosion in your mouth, like woof, fire. So my fire is ready for this beautiful meal. There we go. Oh, look at this. Mm. You see the rice is getting drier and drier. I think that I'm gonna taste one of these. Mmm, crispy. Um, almost done now because we're almost ready because we're almost ready i'm going to add the coriander on top Ooh, this is gonna be yummy and the meta see oh look at this and it's gonna be shimmered hmm oh wow Ooh now we're gonna have a look if this is ready look oh look this is like fresh vegetables look what's underneath oh wow look at this you see the rice is ready everything's ready i'm gonna turn off the stove and you can leave it to um shimmer a little bit more if you want but i'm now just going to serve one plate of this beautiful food wow colorful we always use many colors look at this yum yummy and we have a whole plate full of yummy food and I'm going to add this greenies on top yummy 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 and now I'm going to add some fresh coriander and meta on the side look 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 and always make your dishes look so attractive that you making a party of every meal a little bit of lemon every meal every day and we're going to add a little bit salt at the end oh that's too much a little bit because we don't cook with salt we only add it last minute and if you could smell this <laughs> that would be wonderful if i can explain the smell of this dish it's like full of prana made with love here in beautiful India in this kitchen and I got the opportunity to um, have this on video for you today and the taste of it is wonderful mm, it's still a bit warm but mm. Mm, mm, mm. it's like a taste explosion mm. Mm. my body is so happy I'm going to share this with the whole camera crew because we're all going to eat this lovely food and enjoying it. Lunch at midday. Mmm. Wow, so tasty. I wish you all happy cooking and happy um, cells of your body. Feed yourself. Don't stuff yourself with anything. Just feed yourself. Love yourself. Cook for yourself. Cook for your family. Look at this beautiful dish.